Good morning, traders. It is Wednesday, March 1st, 2017. I've got uh, 7.28 a.m. down here on the clock, and that means the news is going to come out in less than two minutes. And what I'm going to do is take the trade that I called out within my charting service, tracking code 2 from week to week, day to day, and take the trade that, that I said to take within my charting service and I'll come back after I've taken it. Okay, I've got a short position here. I'll be right back. Okay, I just have a uh, 30 tick exit on this one. This trade was called out in advance before it ever even happened within my charting service and I called it out exactly what to do mathematically. So everybody should be in this trade right here. I will come back. And I'd like to point that out everybody within my charting service assuming that they're trading they happen to be trading right now everybody should be in this trade right now because we're all doing the exact same thing the exact same thing mathematically so everybody has just taken the trade just like i have and is short in the trade just like i am and now we'll see if we can hit the 30 ticks which we should be able to do it's really really tight out there but you should be able to hit the 30 ticks here we've got a good entry so i will come back and by the way, even though you don't see me trading every day, uh, I am calling the trade out every day within my charting service for everybody. So, um, you know, I am working at that every day. I have to track the codes in order to trade, especially, when you don't have to track the code 1, but you need to track the code 2 in order to trade it properly. And uh, the code 1, yeah, you can either free trade it or you can mathematically figure out the exact code if you want to. Um, Either way is good. They're both different. Anyway, I will come back. I will try to come back to trading uh, more often. It's just not so easy for me to do it anymore. But uh, I will try to come back as much as I can. Just remember that the codes are always working though. Always. Even in a tight, tight market which we've been in, the code still works. Now, when the market picks up, the code works e even much better. But, uh, you know, even in a tight market, it works. So, the codes are definitely very, very powerful trading um, helpers, that's for sure. Actually, they're more than helpers. They're really all you really need, except for the basic trading skills and trading psychology. Uh, and that, you know, just besides that, it's pretty much all you need. Is that is that one basic system, the code system? This thing's really taking its time coming down, but uh, I think it's going to come down now and break below this low and go hit the exit. But anyway, after it's made it to the exit, I will come back and show it to you. Okay, I just wanted to come back here really quick and show that the trade was successful for the 30 ticks. And that trade was called out in advance before it would even happen within my charting service. Anyway, I w actually there was two trades called out, and uh, both of them were went in the right went in the same direction. So, anyway, I am gonna go. I may or may not be back tomorrow. It just depends if I have the time to trade. I don't have that much time anymore, but I will try to come back and do some more trading so that I could show the world how I'm able to get one trade after another successful all because of the fact that all markets all the way around the world are all being controlled in advance by a computer and that they do not really trade in a free market as the world tells everyone that it does it's not true I broke the code to the computer 11 years ago now 11 years obviously this is massive corruption uh, the people who have put all of the markets under control of a computer are obviously criminals beyond description criminals and obviously they don't want people to know that they have done this because I think that if most people were to learn what they've done they would put a stop to it Anyway, that's never going to happen. Uh, nobody is going to do anything about it whatsoever, 100% <laughs> guaranteed. And 
So the only thing, there, there's only one logical thing left then. Actually, there's two logical things left. You can either ignore it and to pretend like it doesn't exist, or you can try to take advantage of it. I chose to try to take advantage of it, and I did. I've been taking advantage of it for 11 years and suffered a great deal uh, for bringing this knowledge to the public. Uh, whenever you're a whistleblower, you are going to be attacked, slandered, ridiculed, like you could not possibly begin to imagine. For years and years and years. And see, here's the thing is, I don't appreci appreciate being attacked. Nobody would come up to me in the world, anywhere in the world. There isn't a human being alive anywhere in the world that would come up to me and attack me in person without me doing something to them. I mean, I would immediately fight and use my skills since I've been trading since I was five years old to overcome the person very very quickly and very very easily anybody anywhere in the world the problem with these people is they don't allow you to attack them because they attack you without you knowing who they even are it's impossible to attack them that's who these people are Anyway, I am still going to teach the world that all of the markets are being controlled by a computer program. And there isn't anybody on this planet who can or will stop me. 100% <laughs> guaranteed. I am going to go. I will be back later to do more training. More training, maybe in a day, maybe in a week. But I will be back. Happy trading out there.